There is a world as tangible as our own, impossible to see yet unavoidable to sense. A world enveloped by a seemingly unending ocean of forests. Buried deep in that forest, tucked away neatly within a blanket of twilight, lies a quaint little cabin. And in that cabin is a bunch of guys who's a bunch of bullshitter. Welcome to Sleepy Cast, uh, home of the Sleepy Cast. Uh, today it's um, with Chris O'Neill. Oh, uh, Zach, a Psychic Pebbles, Jeff, Johnny Utah, Corey, Spaz Kid, and myself, Stamper, Stamper TV. And today's topic is Zach's anus. Now it's How big, <laughs> it's big, it's open, my dad looks inside of it sometimes, now what else is to say about it? I mean, is it prolapsed? Is it prolapsed? It's That's the question that. of the day. Let's talk about that. Let's Can talk we about talk about rose prolapse? Bugs. Let's Passes. talk about rose No, let's not talk about rose Why? It's an important conversation. Let's talk about what we did last week, okay? Last week... I prolapsed my ass. Yeah. We prolapsed our ass. What if it involves rose buds? <laughs> La last week we all we all traveled forward into the future and we learned a lot of things and we're reporting back to you to tell you all the shit we learned. Would you I'll go first. Yes. I had to explain to a kid what a book was. He was like, what the fuck is that? Well, it's what? a thing that you flip through the pages. And he was like, like a website? And I was yeah. like, no. Not like a fucking website with pages. Like a thing that you hold Wait, in your hand. What, what year was that? Yeah. yeah. What, what what is, that? Are, you, are you in the 80s? That was 2015. The, the 90s? <laughs> that was 2015. That was next year. There's still books around. I, I was telling a kid about what a dustbuster was. A dustbuster? Yeah. And, and, what did and, you a say? Dust, and a dust jacket, too. <laughs> dust jacket. Just the duster, yeah. I was teaching kids about. I taught kids how to kiss in the mouth. You all taught kids in the future. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was. A we went to a awesome. playground. <laughs> yeah, we went to a playground. <laughs> and the first thing Zach did was teach kids how to kiss on the mouth. Yeah, that wasn't the future. That was today, my friend. Uh -huh. You don't need the future to experiment. Oh, so we were just making out with kids. It wasn't. <laughs> yeah, no, I said it was the future, so you do it. You know, I was on. It. Oh no! <laughs> I was on the sideline, just watching and sort of. Laughing. I had my camera. You were laughing in a big direction, your pants. Of course, thought he was being. Uh, in the future, but he was just beating <laughs> off down the street at the school. In reality, I used it as an excuse. In reality, all I said was, we're going back to the, to the future, woo! And they all thought they were in the future, it was ridiculous. Pulled and they the all cops. started fucking kids, it was Pulled crazy. The cops. I they came along with us. I told the cops, we're in the future, would you, you wouldn't shoot a time traveler, would you? And they, they, all, they all bailed. <laughs> fucking idiots. <laughs> First topic of the day. Okay. Night terrors or nightmares or sleep paralysis. Ooh. All spooky. Ooh. It's true. I had sleep paralysis. What did it- Explain your situation. I was in college and I was in a room with my roommate, Paul, and I was falling asleep, but I was lying on my back and you're not supposed Wait, to- Wait, was Paul hot? Did he have sexy lips? He, he, what if he's he, listening right now? He, he was definitely someone you would fuck. What was did his- Did he like grabbed you and made you fuck? Did he have a what was, his, he what was his positive qualities? He's really funny. Okay. And he's really beautiful. It's a good quality. So yeah, he was hot. Anyways, <laughs> listen, this is important. Wait, what kind of hot? Like... If he kissed you on the cheek, would you blush? What kind of hot? Like... Like a hot stove? Or yeah, a hot, hot body. Hot girl. What? Shut up, Corey! <laughs> listen, long story short, I was in college in a room with Paul, he was asleep next to me, and I was lying on your back, and you're not supposed to lie on your back, because that's what causes sleep paralysis. Because your really? mind... Yeah, your mind goes into a state where it's like, oh, I'm, I'm falling asleep, except... Your, your body falls asleep, but your mind might stay awake, and that's what sleep paralysis is, because your brain shut your body down, but you're still awake. But you can dream, and that's what also happened. So, I was lying in bed, staring at the roof, and then the whole room turned into a fucking airplane, and I was on a cabin, and it was as real as can be. And then I looked at the window, we were flying into a mountain, right? And I was like, this is not good. <laughs> and then I woke up, and I was like, I couldn't move, and I was looking over at Paul, and I was just like, Help me. And I couldn't move, and Paul was just like, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, eh. and then like after like two minutes it wears off and you can sit up and I was just like, Paul, and he was like, what? And I was like, I had sleep paralysis. And he was like, fuck off. <laughs> and I went back to bed. I, That's a I have vividly experienced one here. here. I, I remember it. It was so fucking bizarre because it's probably like the first instance where I almost like consciously know about it because I didn't have it when I was a kid. Yeah. And I was downstairs on the couch and I was just cycling through like shitty avatar things for your Xbox. Just like <laughs> stupid shit like skateboards and the fucking droning ass elevator music was playing and I was just like, I was already tired as fuck and it was so soothing. So I eventually fell asleep mm -hmm. and I woke up and I couldn't fucking move after I woke up and I'm like, oh, I'm probably still asleep. And I closed my eyes and I visualized myself getting up, like picking on the couch and lifting myself up. And when I, when I opened my eyes up again, 
I was still asleep. So at that point, I was like losing my shit because it was the most scary thing ever. Yeah. And then it just yeah. fucking goes away and you pop it's up. It's really scary. I, I didn't have sleep paralysis. You were watching the Irate Gamer. Yeah, you called. <laughs> Corey, he gave you the time to touch the you. No, I swear to God. I, I mean, the Irate Gamer has given me ton of, tons of different sleep paralysis things. But What happens to these? His headphones are on. Does he stand over you with his dick in his hand? I usually run hey, into him. Hey, Gamer. He's like, hey, Corey, what the fucking donkey shit? Wake up, Corey. What the hell? There's some pain on you. <laughs> I'll tell you what happened to me though. I, I had this weird thing where I don't know I don't know what it is. Maybe some of you doctors out there, yeah, yeah right. Some of you doctor listeners can diagnose this, but uh, no some, sometimes to this. Yeah. Yeah, I continue. Well, all you all of, all of our fans are doctors. Isn't it like, like a psychological that. thing, not really a doctor thing. Yeah. You're gonna go to a doctor to get treated, and they're gonna be like, "Aren't you fucking psychic, Pebble?" <laughs> He's oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> but. Uh, I do this thing where I don't do this thing. Sometimes when I uh, actually, they so would charge you more because your name is Psychic Pebbles. They'd be like, you yeah, they'd be like, you know, what do you expect? What do you expect? Psychic. A billion dollars. You come at Psychic. And you come to so, them with your yeah. name because you always use your real life alias when you go to like the doctors and stuff. Really alias. <laughs> your real life alias? You mean your name? Yeah. Oh, anyway. Zach goes to the doctor's like, I'm Psychic Pebbles. Anyways. I know first thing he says. The point is, sometimes I, I wake up and I, I, you know, I sleepwalk and all this other stuff. I have night terrors. Sometimes, but sometimes I wake up and I hallucinate. And one time, the worst it ever was was I had a dream that I was like Bruce Willis and Die Hard. I was trying to break out of a window, and I start, like grab someone and start smashing the you fucking wish, window. You wish, baby dream. boy. I yeah. Uh, and I, anyways, my dream is start smashing this window, and I woke up and I had a chair in my hand. And the fucking window was cracked. And I was like, well, I'll go to bed. Like put the chair back down. I woke up. And oh, I you my, really did it. And I woke up and I was like, that really happened. I looked over and there was fucking glass all over oh, the floor. Oh shit. And I was like, and I told the landlord, I was like, yeah, some assholes threw rocks in my window. Was that a night terror? I don't know what that would be, but but I also sometimes that's experiencing. That's, that's like, like when, sleepwalking, but extreme. That's like when you that's feel the worst like it ever was. Oh man, when you feel like you're pissing or in a situation yeah. like, let's say you feel like you're pissing yourself. Oh, like, then you piss. There's no that. way I'm pissing myself because I I'm conscious of doing that. Once. And you feel like you have water running yeah. yourself, yeah. and then you do. You actually do like piss that. Piss all your legs. That happened Shit too. everywhere, but it. <laughs> The, I never. You know what you're I talking about? Shit, severe hair. sleepwalking. Yes. My sister was the worst. She one time when I was staying at my grandmother's house, I was sleeping in the bed next to her, and she got out of her bed and ripped me out of my bed and threw me on the floor she and stepped on me to get into my bed. She totally just she said she was sleepwalking. She no, 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 no. I swear because one time we were on holiday in Spain and we were in a hotel and we were six floors up and she got out of bed and left the hotel. My mom and dad ran after her. And they found her. She opened a fire escape to jump out of it and they just like shook her awake before she did it. Are she not supposed to do that? Supposed to, like, no, that's that's like a stupid old wife. Story. Yeah, that's Step Brothers, mm. man. Oh, that's not a documentary. <laughs> that was Will Ferrell. Actually, guys, <laughs> special, special guest, we have Will Ferrell tonight and John C. Riley. Will, oh. good to be here. Could you please elaborate on what your next movie is going to be about? Uh, oh my gosh, that's so good. That's yeah, why don't you elaborate, my best friend Will Ferrell? Oh, John C. Riley walking to the door here with his Coca Cola. Hey, how's it going? Uh, Coke, drink Coke. Buy it oh, on wow. Amazon. Oh wow, I can't believe what I'm hearing here. John C. Riley in the studio. Zach, I'm gonna need you to shut up and <laughs> change the subject. <laughs> Well, I would, but if we didn't have Tom Cruise here, Tom Cruise, Mission oh. Impossible 12. Oh my god, I'm, I'm sweating. Yeah, uh, hey. So what's your favorite kind of alien that you- There's only four movies, why'd you go to 12? Did John see you leave? We're skipping them, so he- What, did you, you leave? Did, oh yeah, he, he snuck out the back just now. Yeah. John, what are you- He's back? gone, he yeah. left. Did he switch the Pepsi? Oh damn, <laughs> bailed. He's gotta be the ugliest man in Hollywood. John C. Riley? That's yeah. fucked up. That's fucked what up. What about <laughs> I mean, just saying. What about Steve Buscemi? You see how easy it is to uh, get back into celebrity? Is it Skeppy or Chevy? Yeah. Buscelli. Every time I say something, I always switch. I always switch it up to make sure I'm, you know, I'm half. I thought it was Buscemi. I'm wrong half the time. Yeah, Bu I'm on Buscemi's side. Bus but I really tell you, I see, oh, Buscemi, that. He's a great song. actor, though. He's well, it's like an Italian name, right? It's like Buscemi. Yeah, Buscemi, yeah, Buscemi. yeah, what are you gonna do? Buscemi, yeah. Who gives yeah. a shit? <laughs> That's what I think. Yeah, he's not my friend. Next. <laughs> yeah. Next. Wait, Ooh. I didn't tell my night terror. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. go for Jeff, it. What's your nightmare? He was waiting for you guys oh, to shut up, me? and he still is because I'm going to stop it's, talking. It's I I had a dream, right? I lived next to a house full of YouTube animators. Oh no, that sounds horrible. I never had any money, <laughs> and on their and all their free time they'd watch terrible children's movies <laughs> on Netflix. I have a question. And nothing good. That's Ever. fiction, Jeff. I can't imagine. I have that a question. Good. That's scary, though, right? You know, I wouldn't believe this it. This is really horrifying. Situations where what if you were in that house? <laughs> you, you're, dream, you're dreaming it, and then it comes true. Yeah. Because this is oddly I would familiar. never want that to be true. Ever. Jeff, well, you, you, well, said, you said something you. interesting there. You're fucking still asleep, because let's go watch a bad 
what is that? Beverly Hills six, 12 six point yeah. harness, Beverly Hills twelve or four. Exactly. Yeah, you just watch that tonight Channel on Netflix. Four. What what? Would you would you just tell tell people some of the names of some of these movies you've watched? Beverly Hills Chihuahua Three. <laughs> what was the jungle one with the dog? Uh, life's a life's a jungle. Parts. Yeah, that was my. Life's oh, a jungle. Life's a jungle. Jelly Tarzan. That, horrible. Yeah, what's the what's Jelly Tarzan called? Jelly I've, I've, been, I've, I've been the terrible. terrible. I've been the terrible. The actual name is Jelly T for Jelly Tarzan. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. Yeah. This. In Corey. case anyone was wondering what the movie was about, it was about a autistic father who forced his kid to climb a tree and scream Jelly Tarzan yeah. at him while he threw He's like, I want you to be Tarzan. That, that, it says that on IMDb, by the way. That's on the official DVD. <laughs> it's it's actually true. The whole conflict is his dad wants his kid to be like Tarzan. Yeah, even though so Tarzan... Strange. It's just... This is a 3D movie? Yeah. yeah. It's like, it, but it's pretty because... <laughs> you feel like, really sorry. Yes. All the characters look the exact same. Yeah, they've got like the same diagonal eyes and pointy little noses. You, so. you feel really sorry for the kid because he already has that, like, where that... It's, where you talk to inanimate objects and you think they're real because you have it like it's a. Do you and know you, what it's called? Where you talk to inanimate objects and you think they're real. Big real? fucking anthropomorphizing. Creepy. creepy. Or yeah, sure. Persona. Like, persona. Like, like he, he has. He's talking about like a, a like schizophrenia or something yeah, like this. Maybe like he has like a, a mm. mild like or something like that. Mild he's just thing a little. He's just a little freak. Yeah. He's a little. And his dad freak. doesn't he's help. Disgusting. He like forces him to be Tarzan. He's like, Dad, I want to be a little boy. He puts him. He does. He beats him really badly. Yeah. Yeah. Blood comes oh. out of his nose. <laughs> He's like, look at the blood toes. It's hard to say blood. Look at you. You can find this in the kid, the, the Netflix kids section. What's the yeah. yeah. Phase four films. They make really phase good films. Four. Oh, is it is it Phase four? Or Channel four. It's uh, Phase four. Phase oh four. yeah. And they copied the fucking Fantastic Four. Yeah, film. literally. They yeah. stole the entire fucking logo and just changed it around. Over they the also made that way. cat movie where he's a talking oh, cat. It's called a talking cat, and they yeah. use a little black bubble in the cat's mouth. Anyways, Stanford, talk about packs, <laughs> huh? Talk about packs. What happened there? Channel four is. BBC. What are you talking about? Yeah, you're right. No, we're talking about <laughs> this. Yeah. Yeah. I always wonder. Face oh. four is the shitty. Yeah, movie. I'm, a, I'm a, like, it's I'm a, a conversation company. behind. <laughs> There's nothing to talk about with PAX. Did you see? We'll talk about <laughs> anything. Like, oh, how, what, what did you drink? I <laughs> <laughs> There's one answer for that. That's not it's very so. interesting. Yeah, that was just... <laughs> yeah, it had was the bar nice? Yes, the bar was very nice. Ooh, <laughs> how did great. it still feel? I, I spent house. a lot of time at the Daily Grill. They have a great breakfast. They have a wonderful beer selection. Sponsored by the Daily Grill. Stamp really was the like, it was, was it comfy to the hand? Did it have a nice... Cushion, yeah, it butt. held liquid really well. <laughs> Stamper, yeah. do you remember the time we went to Magfest and we went to the restaurant Bond? What was it called? Fucking. Do you remember that place? Bond Five or whatever. <clears throat> I think it was with the forty dollar breakfast. They were like, we got a lobster and they they over they oh, undercooked my pasta like three times in a row. Yeah, and then when they brought it to you the third time, they over they they yeah they really, burnt it. They gave you lava <laughs> to like teach you a lesson. Yeah. yeah, and then they brought out a cookie at the end of it as if to say sorry about all that. And the cookie was shitty too. And Snapper was like, "What is this poison?" And the guy was like, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> They fucked up your order like three times. It was like a forty-dollar plate of lasagna. Yeah. And the sad part yeah. was, if they served it properly the first time, it would have been the best meal you ever yeah. ate. It was sad because it was fucking good. I think I think it was called Bond. Do you remember when we went to an amusement park? I don't know which one it was called, but we went there and they closed immediately when we got oh, there. Oh yeah, Six Flags. Was it Six Flags? I, was it? Yeah. Yeah, we went there and we were like, I remember because I remember vividly we were sitting around the table talking about our dick size. And a oh yeah, you said you, you said you knew a guy with a dick is like the oh yeah, yeah, you I do. Corey, <laughs> he was like this. Corey, he Corey. was like this. Like I know I'm using the word. I'm shooting Corey, it around. No one like on the earth has a twenty inch dick. I'm sorry. No, he no. He literally put his hands on twenty inches. It wasn't. It wasn't like. 20 feet, but it, it was like, <laughs> it, it was big, it was scary big, it, it was like, you know, Where did you see this? A yeah, where, did you, where did you see this monster dick? I'm pretty convinced at Corey school. was really the small at the time. And no, it no, 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 this was in high school, okay, they we were all in like the locker room, and this kid, he's he's a little weird, I would say, he, I'm, I know we've been firing the word around a lot, but he was a little slow, mm. A-word. <laughs> autistic. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. He was a little autistic. But he had a big pee, -pee. <laughs> But he was, he was a really nice guy, and when we, we, he was like, hey, I forget his name, I'm just gonna say like, hey Ryan, come in here. It's like, <laughs> you got that, yeah, or whatever. He's like, you didn't hear, show us that huge dick. And I was like, wait, I don't wanna be here. And then he walked in, and he was like, oh, I'm a little embarrassed. And then like, um, 
He pretty much put it on the fucking table. <laughs> he flopped it out. Like, yes, he put he, he stood up, dropped his pants, and it fell down like he was flopping. Everyone, even the ones that had the big dicks, were like, Dah! The big and then dick he, and then he like put it away and, and the gym teacher came in and he's like, he What the like, fuck are you doing? He was like, Dang! Because like, everyone that's was good. around. Why is everyone crowded around a it's kid's a dick? dick. <laughs> like, yeah, I'd be like that too. I play volleyball. I like how the, the Six Fag story was about eight <laughs> seconds and now we're on. This is an important conversation. Corey, did you know? That there's white people with brown dicks. Mm -hmm. Did you know I, that, Corey? Chris, My that's what happened Chris, you don't Chris, you're the only person. What? You're the no, only it's white guy. Don't spread lies. Doesn't have a brown dick. I've got a white. It's Christmas if you don't clean dick. it. Do you have, like, Jeff, is your dick the tanner than the rest of your body? Do you have a big brown stinky dick, Jeff? It's not. Is it no. slightly tanner than the rest of your body? Mine so is. I don't think so. Mine. Have a peek See, this time. Not everyone has a brown black guy I mean, dick. Okay. Yeah, yeah, my my wiener is darker than the rest yeah. of my yeah. body. Yeah. If I went into That's because you fuck ass. Like, no, it's, the thing is, it's darker. Darker. No, yeah. no, no. has a big It's because when my wiener gets hard, it goes normal color, and then when it shrivels up, it turns black and rotten. It condenses. Like a bird. If anything, my dick is paler than the rest of my body. Is it like a really Gross. Like a, is what? it like a mood ring? It's like yeah, Dobby when I'm horny, song. it's a different color. Yeah, <laughs> you must be horny right now because yeah, Dick is a red. different color. <laughs> it's red and fucking throbbing. You have a big red rocket. Yeah, let me tell you something. This is an important conversation. Yeah, about Corey's wiener comes dog. out of his body like a sleeve, like no. a dog, it was like lipstick. I, I I have a slightly darkened dick because I don't expose it to the sun often. An STD. Oh my god, man. Right, so what is it, reverse tanning? I don't, what? Yes. Oh. If you don't expose it to the sun, you don't get any light yeah. down there. What you're supposed it to do is Where can you tan it when you walk outside the You're supposed to go background? out into the sun, lie on your front, and put your ass and legs spread up in the air so you can tan your dick and balls. I don't know what is happening. Do you have to get a hard on so it tans no. all equally? I thought the I idea was that your dick was darker already. Why my dick is already dark. I don't need to tan my dick. <laughs> I know. If we're, talking we're about, talking about. if we're talking about tans, am I like the only one who doesn't think like white girls who turn like fucking flaky, bread brown, crusty? Skin color is gross. No, like they look like cool. a croissant. Like yeah. Yeah. like Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you mistake me like orange almost. Like yeah, orange. yeah, yeah. That's right. That's really nasty. nasty. You know, a satanic song addiction is a terrible thing. It's My dick and balls are darker for logical reasons. I don't know what the fuck these guys mm -hmm. are talking about. Stamp with your balls. It's true though. Yeah. If you don't expose it to the sun, thing. you won't get any light there. That's why when you take your shirt. What off. are you talking about? When you take your shirt off, you go, your arms are lighter. My dick and balls are darker than my body. Why? He's I'm saying that's why they're darker. Corey, there's, see, there's this oh, thing. they're darker just in case I decide to go outside no, and tan the rest of my so body. You're saying evolution, evolution, because evolution. you don't, you're not walking around like a, a fucking Neanderthal with your dick hanging out all day. They're darker because they shrivel up and get bigger and they go, they move the with density. the ebb and flow of you're, my the density wiener. of the skin piles up and makes it look like. Thank a you, God. God. The density. The density. The destiny. The density. The density. Density of dicks. You are my. Fucking tell you can't tell. Science you about are wieners? You are my density. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. You Let me tell you something. Density. There's white dicks. <laughs> Let me tell you something. There's white dicks, brown dicks, black dicks, yellow dicks, blue dicks. red dicks, blue dicks, so green dicks, white dicks. Is that about is that is that dicks a mini dicks, large dicks, chocolate dicks? Large dicks, and chocolate and dicks. dicks. <laughs> well, we haven't even scraped the surface. You fucking yet. children. Okay. Anyway. Prolapsed wieners. And prolapsed <laughs> is that a fucking doctor's club, Corey? Brown dicks, blue dicks, green dicks, orange dicks. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good book, isn't it? That's off the edge. Did you have to see that song in school with Dr. Seuss died? No. Dr. Seuss. I was like 40 when Dr. Dr. Seuss died. How old are you, man? <laughs> You have to see the song. You're not even yeah, all, all, all the kids, all the kids with Dr. Seuss said, all the kids have to hold hands and light candles and say, Dr. Seuss. Yo, Dr. Seuss Dr. was a hack. His Dr. books are shit. Dr. Oh, Seuss. Oh, no. You can't say that. I'll say it all Dr. day Seuss because his books are shit. Like well, like Dr. Seuss. Seuss, 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 what? Say no, it! No, no. Say it! I'll, no, when you were a kid, when you were a kid, you were flipping through his books and you're like, oh, what's a crumple on? When you were, when you were an eight-year-old kid, you're like, this is charming. When I was an no. eight-year-old kid, I was like, why is this creepy fucking adult the cat same. in the house? It's the same with Rodell. All of the pictures in his books look shitty. It's it like, it's really nice. Rodell, the guy who's like Willy Wonka in the ch big chocolate. He did the the, the big um, cheese, the the witches. Okay. Like a lot of those old. Uh, classics. the guys who have duck arms. Oh, do you remember? If we're talking about duck books, arms. I'm Sorry, no, you should apologize. What? If we're talking about books, you remember those like those like ghoulish, like scary books that the art always looked like the characters' faces were melting off. And it was doll. Maybe it was like scary stories. That's, that's what I'm name? talking about. That? No, he he wrote them, but he got an artist. I forget his name. Shelley something. Quentin Blake. 
Quentin Blake! Yeah, you guys, you did do you guys remember was it Animorphs? Yeah, it was. I wrote a, <laughs> I wrote a pop comic. <laughs> such 20 year old faggots, all of you. Animorphs. To, I used to read Goosebumps. <laughs> Animorphs. I would collect, I would collect Animorphs. I would collect Animorphs. I don't Just, give a fuck yeah, about Animorphs. Yeah. Animorphs, Jeff, Pokemon, Jeff, Pokemon. Have, you ever, have you ever Goosebumps. watched? You can I never watched. walk in front of a train, I don't <laughs> I'll care. I'll tell you something. What? Animorphs was kids that turned into animals. Yeah. I wish I could yeah. take it. Let me tell you something about Jimmy Neutron and Beast Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up with those. They're my classic. My go to. You need to watch that shit. Fucking Animorphs. Every time I see Rocco's modern life, go ahead. Say something Jeff, about those Jeff, books. I grew up with Rocco. Fuck the, that. The, the covers of those books were offensive to me. Like, Jeff, I wish I could have captured your face when I say Animorphs. I've never seen you turn like have that you, before. Have you ever seen. Well, it's like talking about something fucking died inside of Jeff that second. Have you ever seen, like, it's like what? That, that white girl with crazy hair turn into, like, the sea manatee? I just don't like the book covers. <laughs> I don't like the book covers where they take like a, a bad picture of a kid and a bad picture of an animal and then they click like, like transform in Photoshop and it's like five stages. I mean, of it, was, it, it, was, it was like, like the 90s. They don't even like the eyes don't even morph correctly to like the same spot on the other I don't character. even know what the fuck Animorphs is. It, it's Ty literally animal animorphs. morphs. What if they what touch an animal, they can become. I know for a fact you'll know what the it's cover of the book color. is. The cover of the books is what? What's it? not considered an animal? Give me, give me a plot of one of these books. A black guy turns into an animal and he gets hit by a truck. <laughs> oh, no, I'm no. serious. I'm that serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. I'll, okay, yeah. I'll, give you, I'll give you one. <laughs> yeah. You're a liar. So there's one with a guy that turns into a grizzly bear. Yeah. And the point of him turning into a grizzly bear. So he can eat honey. So he can live his life eating so honey. Does, 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 honey does, 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 does every story start out with like a normal person and then they there, realize. There used to be a TV show where there were like six kids that could like turn into certain animals and they would use their powers to escape danger, <laughs> dangers because like the, the underground so secret. Like, like Captain Planet. The, yeah, the yeah, underground yeah. secret agency wanted them to experiment on them to yeah. realize how they're like turning into Is animals. Is this why Tumblr why Animal Kin exists? Yes. No. Yes, based on no. animals. What was, that, what was that movie from the 80s or 70s where like this guy turned into a dog? Um, oh, dog man. No, it was something. No, it's mad dog, you idiot. What are you? <laughs> dog That's man. Some no, 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 some kind of clever. Name. You're thinking of goosebumps, oh, Jeff. Oh, manimal. You're thinking manimal. of animal. 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 Well, I don't know why that just hit my brain. Oh, yeah. Like, it's some game. clever name. Was Rob Schneider? No, that was the animal. <laughs> Jeff, let's, let's talk about Jeff's like, insane love for the animal. I went to Jeff's apartment one day. Yeah. He had uh, seven, co Schneider. seven copies of the animal with Rob Schneider. He's a whole care book out of Rob Schneider. Yeah, a whole yeah, shelf. Yeah, a whole shelf for All right, since we've lost about half our audience <laughs> by this point, you want to change the subject? Okay. Animal yeah. story. Speaking of animals, let's let's watch. Yes. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Everyone has a good I mean, old animal story. We're going to do a transition yeah. stop. Good old animal story. I'm going to do a transition stop. Speaking of animals, let's animal into an animal story. You can fuck it up. <laughs> animal stories. You have any good animal stories? Yeah. What? You go. Well, one time I was in the field and uh, I saw Next. a cow. No, sp please. Go. There was a cow and then I, I walked towards it, but then the cow looked at this me. This is Freddy Got Fingered. No, <laughs> I swear. And then the cow started running towards me and then all these other cows started running up a hill behind that cow. So it was like a stampede of cows running and I jumped into a ditch and it was all okay. You fucking, that's the liking, dude. That's not the liking. <laughs> it's the cow story. Did your dad Mufasa die? No. <laughs> <laughs> My dad wasn't there. He was looking down from a cloud. Oh, okay. What kind of animal <laughs> stories like, do you want to know? Do you want to know good animal <laughs> stories no, no. or bad animal stories? Any an uh, animal stories. One time I saw a monkey, but it turned out to be Zach. Next. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I had a damn book. Yeah, yeah. Tell an animal story. My neighbors. Oh. They had a they had like a pit, they had a pit bull like hybrid. He was oh. like a pit bull but really big. Yeah. And one day he wandered out in the road into the road. Oh no. <laughs> and he got hit by like a suburban. Mm -hmm. And his uh, intestines were hanging out of his side. Mm -hmm. And Go then on. he stood up and he walked back to the house. Oh his intestines god. And then what happened after and that? Then they went to the doctor, the vet, and shoved his intestines back in his cool. body and sewed him up and oh he was fine. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus then, Christ. Alright. Well, <laughs> if we're talking about animal stories that like ultimately are bad, my animal story Your house. Is, what? I used to have a rat. Yeah. Oh. A rat. Yeah. And it was like an albino rat, so it was like a white rat. And the thing about it is, his tail would always fuck. Was it an albino rat or a white rat? <laughs> oh god! It's an albino rat. Corey he had little pink eyes. Did you? Yeah. Did you? Did you, did you, did you, did you like to episode? pretend it cared about you? Yeah. But it, the thing about it was, it, its tail used to bleed. Are you lying? What's his name? No. What's his fucking name? Hold on. 
This is, this is what I was gonna get into. Go, Corey, go. His tail would always bleed. So I'd be like petting it, he would go across and he'd have like a skid mark where his bloody tail stump was or whatever. Mm. So I just called him Bleeder because I didn't know what to call him. <laughs> he, he didn't have a name and when I had him, like after a while, he just bled constantly so I called him Bleeder. Are you sure it wasn't a girl on our period? Or? No, it's a, okay. it's a rat. I don't think... Do animals was... bleed? Did, yeah, did you, you have to protect your rat from the birds in your yeah. house. Yeah. No, it, it eventually Remember? died. Yeah. That's, the thing. That's, the thing. That's the thing about fucking hamsters and rats. They're like the worst pets yeah. because they'll die I had in like a, a week. I had a hamster too. I know. Too. I had a hamster too. Yeah. And guess what? They, we, they had this little beautiful cage that cost $2 and it fucking escaped and died. Just because it cost two dollars. Yeah, well, I was like eight, and I thought it was a lot of money at the time. I, I, I'll tell you what, though. You know, kids are fucking cruel with animals. I had, I had a hamster. You know, you know, the, you know those big fucking mesh wire fans that you have. But I, this is horrible. I feel so bad for you telling this. But when I was a kid, I had this little chubby hamster, and I used to put his little put him on top of the. What mesh was his name? You fucking liar. It was Nibbles. Nibbles, because he used to fucking bite me. He used to scream at me, throw him at the wall. I didn't do that. But what I really did do was with this huge mesh wire fan with fucking scary blades in the middle, and I put him on top of it, turn it on high or low, and then medium and high. And he's it's, it's sucking in he, or blowing out. Blowing out. It's like, hold on. He's, he's holding on with the fucking his little hands, and he's going in the air. And sometimes he'd let go, and he just kind of float there in the air for like a little bit. Did you do this above him? Like, no, you, like, yeah, I was like, like, yeah, he fucking freak out. Was I had another hamster too, a couple years before that. Oh, after this one died, dude. After that, no, this, this was, <laughs> this was, so this was, yeah, this was the first one existed. Wait, so Nibbler eventually died? Yeah, I had three, I called him like Junior, Junior, after like three, I was like, I don't like, called him Jew and, Jew, 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 two. Jew, two. <laughs> Gross Schindler. Jew. Schindler. <laughs> But I had a white one with little with little eyes, and I had a I had a, I had a beast cousin who I had over one time. And we were playing with a hamster. He fucking sat on top of the hamster. Its little eyeball came out. <laughs> its eyeball came completely out. You, wait, and he said it was fine. Explain. It, it, got it was up. fine. It kept walking around. Wait. Its eyeball got lost in the carpet forever. <laughs> so it detached from the tendons. It, it didn't. It just it's in the ether of the carpet. <laughs> its eyeball popped out like a little raisin and got yeah, lost in yeah. the carpet. And, and it, it kept going alive. along, dude. Did, did you eventually caviar? come across it? Did it like caviar? Was it like caviar? I don't know. I didn't eat it, but did oh, you eventually come across it? No, I don't think you meant. Long. There's, like, there's something about this story that bothered me more than like a beheading video. What do you, what do you mean? All, the little all hips. <laughs> the popping out of its little face. And, and it's completely you don't know what fine. To do. Then you sit there for a moment, did you like think maybe I could put it back? I didn't try, I just closed its eyes. Sometimes <laughs> oh, it opened oh it, sometimes it opened it, I was like, ah, you know, oh poke it. Did it I poke the... No, it just watched its eyes. Ah, you fucking stabbed yeah, it, it it's, it's, already... if, it's, if it opened its eye, you know, it's open the eye socket, I'd be like, ah, you know, it's scared, so we'll close one of its eyes. Oh, <laughs> Bullshit. You should have put a little ball bearing inside or something. Oh, yeah. give him like a sweet I put little... a googly eye and we looked by it. It was all, it was all, <laughs> it's bigger than his head. Yeah. A little self adhesive googly yeah. eye. Super glue. He screwed like his little hamster screwed, but he was fine. He liked it. Hamsters Sweet, get like tumors, and my hamster ate all of its tumors. This episode is sponsored by PETA. PETA! <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Petco. Go buy hamsters, please. Buy all the cancer hamsters they have. Tell oh your kids. Oh my god. Camster. Camster. I, I have a topic. Tell me your topic. That yeah. I'd like to talk about. It's like, um. Why'd you get real serious? <laughs> is it a serious It's, 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 it's very, it's very it's serious. Yeah. Okay. It's a topic about your taste buds and how they change over time. What, what the fuck? hell are you talking about? <laughs> Why? Listen, it, it always it seemed very interesting to me. I'm curious to see what people's like taste change. <laughs> like what you used to eat back then and what you eat now. All right, can you back give, me, then, give me an example? Yeah. Okay, so back then I used to eat really shitty like bad for you cereal. Like mm -hmm. I, now I, ca I can't even eat like what fruit you say? So you ate children's you cereal and now you evolved cereal? to bad like food. Adult cereal. Oh. Like raisin bran. But here's bad the thing, no, here's the thing. <laughs> Like, you know, children's cereal, this like the cereal, example. the cereal your mom wanted you to eat, like yeah. Kicks and shit? Yeah. I got a big box of oh, Kicks shit. and it's fucking delicious. You, you, <laughs> this is, so this kid, is sugar cereal. cereal. I'm just I'm curious. curious. Like, I'm just so curious. Like nuts. This is, this, yeah. is, this is evolving. It's taste. like, it, it, no, it's like if you, you, you just weaned off sugar. It's like when you eat candy. Like, I used to go with my friends and spend like $20 at the candy store. At the time, yeah, candy you just was talking like, about getting weaned yeah. off sugar. I, yeah. that I a used long to time like ago. Snickers, but I'm But it, no, it's like that. Bars. It's like, it's like soda. I can't drink soda now. Yeah. Like, I, I can't have a lot of sugar in my coffee. If I have two sodas, it's I get literally sick. like, I'm mm. just, I no longer can eat that's, sugar. That's just your body telling you to stop doing shit. Yeah. Like, when you, you're you eating too much shit and it's like, hey, stop that. Knock it off. But no, it's literally. Literally, like I can't eat it. And even when I don't have it for a while, I, I can't eat like. Well, yeah, like I can have chocolate, 
I grew up on like uh, Fruity Pebbles or whatever the yeah. bargain basement knockoff <laughs> was. Fruity Stones. Skebbles. Fruity Not yes. like Fruity yeah. Rebels. Are you Happy guys? Skebbles or whatever. That's what they have in the Middle East, Fruity you, Rebels. You talking about like when What's you eat too much of something and then you don't like it anymore? <laughs> no, he's talking about just general changing taste. <laughs> uh, one time Zach gave me a tuna and it, it poisoned me and I was on the it couch. It poisoned you. It was, I was on the couch in the living room and Chris I, was eating. I tried farting and I shit myself. <laughs> He shit all the catch. Yes. It was green. Chris, slimy. what? Here's, here's something to talk about. Was it an off brand tuna? Like, it, it, was, wasn't, oh, it wasn't like light. Zach was just like, try this, and I was like, that Ocean tastes okay. Tuna. And then later on, I was like, oh. Here's something to talk about. Chris, when you shit on the couch, did you flip the couch cushion over? Because I did not shit on the couch. When I, I, when I, when I was a kid, I was laying I on the couch. It was in my jeans. When I stayed, when I stayed at my friend's yeah. house, when I was a kid, I was a kid, I had a birthday party at my cousin's house. Oh. And I slept on his couch, and I had a bunch of soda, and I pissed all over the couch. And I woke up, and I was like, oh, and I flipped the fucking couch cushion. Oh, but I was like, yeah, it'd be fine. I went back to bed and pissed on that side, too. Oh, no. And I was like, I put a fucking pillow over it. I was like, yeah, it's fine. And then there's a huge dog, whatever, it sniffed it. He was, the dad was like, did you piss on my couch? And I was like, no, the dog did it. <laughs> and it was like, my dog did not piss on my couch. And I was like, yeah, I did it. You know, you know what? That was the whole thing that happened. <laughs> you just immediately admitted it? I would have stuck with the the dog thing. That's uh, genius. Wait, it was just like, you put his fucking dog down? Sure, you could have lied. You could have put like, a dog down for pissing <laughs> on your couch. Yeah. I, I have an idea. Oh. Yes. You should remind people. People, since they're all tuning out, why they liked us in the first place. Okay. okay. I don't know if you, since we're all here, if you'd like to discuss so we read animation topics. briefly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's. Since everybody here is kind of, I don't know if anybody listening realizes we all sort of got our start in art and animation. Yeah. We still so, had to do it. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> and, we got, and we got a lot of feedback from the general public yeah, so as to we what did. we should talk about aside from shit. Feces, that's prolapse, that's an important butts. conversation. Yeah. Okay. Killing babies. Uh, There's many many comments inquiring about animation and baby prolapse. You know, for example, like all the ungrateful shits on YouTube that are always giving you guys a hard yes. time about why can't you just pump out like a five minute cartoon? I, hey, they're, they're not like, ungrateful they're shit. They're shitheads. They yeah. are. They're so worthless. They're human beings with they're opinions, and you have to no. look at it. Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what bothers me. Yes, they have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> they're just totally ignorant. Just they're, ignorant. Just they're just ignorant. They're just ignorant. They're just and that's the thing. Like, Every one of them. That's the thing when it comes to animation. Like, yeah. no. for me, since since I do frame by frame, I, yeah. I can't do tweens because I'm fucking awful at it. I have to draw each individual. I like frame. how you're backwards. Like most people do tweens because they're awful at real animation. I can't. Hey when, when I do, t <laughs> do you just stab yourself? Yeah. <laughs> your own night? Yeah. It was unintentional, but. <laughs> We get, have. We get, like, so when you do a frame, sometimes a line work alone can literally take a whole day. It can take like six hours to just yeah. do like a single a line. Frame, yeah. So so you and then there's sometimes where you animate something, you're just like, mm, it looks like shit. And so you fucking oh, delete yeah. everything. Yeah. And that's six hours of work, you just delete it and you start over, or you'll be working and and your flash crashes while it's saving, and you're like, oh fuck. And then you realize you didn't save six hours ago, or it's corrupt. So you have to start all over, and this is I, I'm <clears throat> this is experience from doing the music video for Aaron. Would you like to elaborate on what that is? That music video. Oh, the music video. Yeah, at least what link them to it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's see what it was. It is a Street Fighter music video where, that I did for Starbomb for Aaron's yeah. Aaron and Danny's like. Eager Raptor. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I'm, I mean, that's the thing. I'm on a I'm on a straight name basis now. I can't yeah, really. Too cool. I can't uh, say. Eager Raptor, aka Aaron, I, I, because I don't really call him Eager Raptor. Tom saying. Hanks I, had breakfast with us this morning. I call him Tom. Don't worry about it. Yeah, Tommy. If you hear us talking Tommy about boy. Tommy, it's Tom Hanks. <laughs> yeah, but nobody's gonna know. People are gonna people are gonna associate us with Aaron because a lot of people know that we know Aaron. Sure, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, but some some people don't. Maybe some people. Okay, say well, it's cause. I'm sorry. Wait, wait, start now. Go. Forgive me. <laughs> How? How long no, did that music video take you, Corey? Oh, that that took six months of constant work. No, yeah. see, see I'll, I'll, everything you're trying to say, I'll sum it up with one point. When you go and you release something finally after like two months, and people assume that it's all you've been working on for two yes. months. That, Never mind oh, the God. fact that maybe your father died, or yeah. you have other obligations, or you have a that's, full This is what drives me nuts, right? Because if, you, if you take a year to between cartoons, and maybe the cartoons take a month or two months. No, I've been waiting You took a year? This. You took a whole that's, year? 
Yeah. That's another is. thing too. Yeah. Like, and, and we talked about this. We talked about the attention spans of people on the internet now. And it's like, if you don't get a fucking cartoon out in three months tops, people are gonna be like, wait, you yeah. animate? Because it's like, you have to constantly make stuff. Unfortunately, when it comes to frame by frame animation, it takes me like eight months and then I have to worry about paying rent and I have to I, worry I, about- I'll tell you what, I, 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 would, I wouldn't mind <laughs> if they were if they were bored and they just didn't like us. If it was like, oh, I, yeah. I, know, I know how long it takes, but fuck you, whatever, cool, I respect that. No, that's fine. But people who are like, Family Guy gets an episode every week. It's like, are you kidding me, dude? That, you fucking kidding that me? That is stupid. A million okay. dollars let me just, per episode. Let me just yeah. fucking say. Um, yeah, let's, let's go over budgets of cartoon series. A Family Guy, The Simpsons, a million dollars per 22 minutes. And that's a studio. How, how many that's a studio of people. A whole studio. Yeah, that's like yeah. six or seven people. And like Another, th sorry, go on. Six or, you mean um, like hundreds of... Animaniacs, budget Millions. $750,000 per episode. Yeah. We're working up like small budgets where one guy's. Sometimes we'll have a couple people help out, like Yada, or just a friend or somebody else. Yeah. Yeah, people think I'm killing it in YouTube. I make $200 a month on a good month. Oh, uh, uh, I make nothing. Yeah. Again, I make $200 a month I made, on YouTube. You're rich you don't know shit. But here's shit. the thing. Here's rich the thing. asshole. Here's yeah. the thing. Like, my partners for YouTube, they're fine. They pay me what I what I earn. Yeah. Unfortunately, I haven't made any content, so I haven't earned well, no, that's it. Just, see, that's a, it's, it's it's easy to kind of misconstrue that. Like, they're not paying me shit, but they're paying me what I'm worth. And you yeah. can't put... You can't... It's like a thing where you have to produce to make money, but you don't have time to produce yeah. because you're exactly. doing other things. It does, it There's another up. thing there too. It's like if you produce or if you make something, you uh, it takes like a few months to make it, right? And then you upload it, <clears> and then you wait another month for the money to gradually and be it's, made, it's right? And it's like only a few but, thousand dollars. So yeah, it's not but even also worth it. then you have to wait another month to get paid because they don't pay you straight away. You have to like, yeah, you have to wait. It has so to it's up. like if you want to make a cartoon, it'll take like five months to get paid. Literally. And another thing is, is like all of us do every. Things. So it's like sound effects, mixing, music, voices, backgrounds, backgrounds after effects. We're the whole studio. When, when somebody can step in and actually do something, it's like the best thing ever. Like yes. when someone's like, yeah, I have time to do backgrounds. You're like, oh, fuck. Thank, <laughs> thank, you, God. thank you, Jesus. <laughs> thank, are you fucking kidding me right now? And you start crying just a little bit. One no. fucking background can take like three or four hours. No, that's true. A fucking background for me can take like a whole goddamn day. It's for three or one four hours background. doesn't sound like a whole lot, but for three or four hours of work for literally like Two seconds in the cartoon. And I think yeah. it should be noted too the hours we put in. I mean, a lot of people say, "Well, you guys are just big YouTubers who make too much and you don't get it." A lot of people, let's let's say the average person works forty hours a week and gets paid forty. That's what I was talking. No, not to interrupt you, but this is what I was talking about. That yeah. Twitter post I made that I caught a lot of flag for when I was like, every construction worker that's talking about real work yes. and shit. Like I did. That. I did the research, by the way. <clears throat> construction workers are, I think, at most only allowed to work a certain amount of hours per day. A certain they make us like thirty to forty thousand dollars a year. Animators make usually about twenty thousand dollars a year, or whatever, and they work sixty hours a week, fifty hours a week. What I'm what I'm saying though is like, yeah. if I'm at a bar and some dude's laughing in my face, telling me to get a, a real a job, real job, yeah, and he's talking about his vacation in Jamaica, I'm like, dude, everybody in this room right now hasn't talked about a vacation. Everybody in this room, I'm sitting with four other people, What's including that? myself. It's a vacation. I know. <laughs> And by the way, we literally work weekends too. It's Fourteen not hour days every day, no days off, for as long as I've known you guys, for almost a decade now. You've never taken it's why I think Jeff left because somebody died. That was <laughs> pretty much it. <laughs> And because he had to go, and he didn't want to. Cor I mean, Corey, yeah. for Christ's sake, you you work quite honestly. Honestly, how many hours per day? 14? 14 to 15. Realistically. But 14 to 15. You wake up, you go to Dunkin' Donuts, wipe your ass with the napkins, and then you work for 15 hours <laughs> yes. and go to bed. It's shocking no. how much. You go back to your desk with your shitty ass. <laughs> I, it, no, <laughs> God, don't open this again. No. Realistically, though, like, I, I actually am a workaholic. I do enjoy working, mm -hmm. and I do enjoy what I do. I love to draw, Absolutely. I love to animate, and I'm very fortunate exactly. to be in the position I am, and that's a thing. A lot of people, that's another problem people have talked about, is talking about how you got to where you are. A lot of people think you can just uh, just handouts, and it's like if you don't help someone out, you're an asshole. But realistically, what it comes down to is I worked my fucking ass off for seven or eight years and got to where I am. I met all these guys from yeah. putting my shit out and trying this is, to- This is a pretty common email that we get, like how yeah. do we get our foot in the door, and it's like, it's like not one of us has an easy you answer. You just fucking I, do it. I, just do stuff that you do it constantly. constantly. There's no easy answer. Practice, fucking practice, a bitch you suck and get better, get better. And you better. make serious- <laughs> Like Life fucking choices. like Zach, just really not to throw you under the bus or anything, but you went without eating for like four yeah. days. Oh they're, they're, man, I could talk to Corey and I are dead fucking broke, and this this is a pity <laughs> thing. It's just like to put perspective. Like a lot of people really mm. think we make like a million dollars per year. These big YouTube guys who work two hours a day were spoiled assholes. There's no golden ticket.
ticket answer to you know, any of this. It's like like, like Corey said, we're super, to. super fortunate to have the jobs we have, but it's also like Dude. you need to understand the perspective of what we do and what goes behind it, or else you're gonna get a, you know, you me, a weird view. You want me to tell you <laughs> what I ate yesterday? Yeah. yeah. I, I drank eight beers and I had two bowls of kicks. That's all, all I ate. That's more than most people get you spoiled. <laughs> Cis white male piece of shit. <laughs> Whatever. In all fairness, you guys could be a supermarket and buy vegetables, but and it's like six dollars. Yeah. Cereal, everything. But I mean, they're a Danish Actually, corn, corn, no, realistically, like right now, the amount of hold yeah. on, count it, Corey, yeah. count it, yeah, count it. Mm. This is change. all Corey has to do his nails. That's all I have to my name right Whoa. now. Let's tomorrow. see. Let's see. Twenty-five, fifty. Oh 75. shit, nigga, you got corn us. <laughs> <laughs> <Look at you. laughs> So yeah, I got like a dollar fifteen. That's I think all Corey, I have Corey, Corey, has been there with me on days where nine of us had money, and one of us gets like ten bucks. And he's like, "What are we going to McDonald's?" And we get a fucking one dollar hamburger. <laughs> it's scarfing down like fucking homeless guys. We're like, "Oh, well, that's the thing. That's the thing." Like fucking and, and that's that's exactly. I wouldn't trade that situation for the world no, because man. a here's something that I, I've realized after being in that sort of situation. I've realized you appreciate the little things yes. and you finally get it. If you haven't eaten for four days and you eat a fucking McDonald's cheeseburger, it tastes like a steak meal from fucking Outback. Yeah. It's amazing. And then when you drink beer to compensate for food and then you <laughs> eat something, it tastes even fucking better. Yeah, yeah when, well, I got, when I got back to America this time, I was like, Zach lost weight. And I was like, damn. And I was like, he's, yeah, it's because he's in the It's literally because I'm not eating. It's not Zach. What's your secret? I have no fucking Zach. money. It's <laughs> Chris, revolutionary. Chris, all you gotta do is not <laughs> burn all your money. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, an easy solution. Yeah. I don't know. It's like why I don't know why artists are such terrible like business people too. We're no, oh, well, that's it. yes, that's the thing. Yes. Absolutely, that, that's the thing too. Also, like I don't mean to like. This at it. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Because like we all earn our earnings. Chris earns his earnings. He does let's plays and stuff. That's how he gets extra money. Zach does work. All of us do work. Like we all have a certain thing, and we all have something. As <clears> we're just every month for me at least, it's just I got to make rent this month, it's so month I got to make enough. Yeah. Like well, so, so the bottom line is really that we do it because we want to do it and any success or financial gain is a natural byproduct of doing something that we would want to do anyways. It's not exactly. a field that you jump into no, because no. you think it's going to be financially stable yeah. or... This this thing is the most... This job run is literally probably one of the most financially... Unstable. Unstable. You're walking on a razor's yeah. edge. Yeah. It's like, dude, one year, one year you, you can make $40,000, the next year you can make $100,000, the next year you can make $10,000. It, it, it is not, it's you not can stable. A, it's on YouTube, the first year I joined <clears throat> YouTube, I think I made about $1,200 in a year. Yeah. In a year. <laughs> and people are like, how do I do this? And it's like, dude, I was just doing it. I wasn't even expecting it. I've always said this. If you're getting into animation for the money, don't. Be a fucking no. lawyer. Be a doctor. Do not get into art or animation for the money. I'll tell you one thing. Nobody I know got into animation for the money. Absolutely that's an actual, not. That's an or the fame money. Anytime that you see stuff. people do that, it's like, they, you can just, tell. it doesn't Work. It's it's also like to their head like they're very deluded and they it's think like well it's they like if they get lucky that's it that's yeah. that's it if you apply it to any other business like if if I if I've never started a restaurant before but I know how to cook eggs it's, I'm gonna fail within <laughs> two weeks I mean give me a break yeah, man you, Jeff you were saying you were saying salt. animators are terrible yeah I want to talk about that salt yeah. eggs right yeah, yeah that's true <laughs> so you said animators like really, so this is a whole other topic right animators yeah. are bad businessmen right that's why animators are at the bottom and those sneaky snakes are at the top. Yes, right. sneaky, Absolutely. sneaky, sneaky, well, sneaky. Well, my whole life was geared skates. around business. It'd be pretty fucking good at. Yeah. It's like if I didn't have bigger problems. No, but the about. thing is, all the people at the top are always really good. To, like you know. Here's the it's thing. Weird. Here's the thing. They can though, talk like, good. I think, I think like, Stamper and myself and other people like know 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 us like this. We. We just want to wake up in the morning and do our thing and eat and then go back to go sleep back to and then just do it again. And then I, yeah. All these people who are like really good at like they, they you know they focus on like savings and, and knowing how to do taxes and you know like, <laughs> like normal things people know how to do and like you know understand. It's like we just avoid those things like the plague. And yeah. I, you said it well. I, and you I, make fun of me because I don't know who the fucking vice president is. That's I different. Give a shit. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Who I don't give a is. shit. What? Fine. What is he? What has he ever done for you? What? What? What importance does he have in your life? I don't know about our. Oh my god. Listen, anyway. Jeff loves Joe no, Biden. No, please <laughs> tell me. Tell me why Joe, Joe Biden. Obama was elected like what six fucking years ago. You should have at least know Biden. <laughs> is he hanging out right your house right now? Watch turn a TV. Turn on CNN. I haven't had a in ten years. <laughs> man. 
Let me, let me well, tell you something. Let me long. tell you something. People always give me you shit. You live in America. America. That what? Stuff too. The vice president? Yeah. What is he? Second in command president? Hey, Corey, Corey. The who's, second in command who's, who's, who's the vice president? What's his name? John Biden. It's John Biden, right? Joe he doesn't Biden. fucking who's know either. Speaker? Who's the speaker of the Who house? Who gives a shit, man? Speaker of the house. Laurel yes. Biden. John Boner. <laughs> what a bag. <laughs> <laughs> who's the secretary of boners? <laughs> Chris, like, hey, would you like to elaborate on why we're such terrible business I, I, Because we've put all of our effort into one skill, and that yeah. is not talking. Here's the I, terrible I, about everything else. I, the, the, every fucking TV <laughs> show you see is because someone talks. Good, like yeah. that Biatch's show. Oh my god. That's because these two stupid which, which fucking show? cunts who don't know how to do anything talk good in a meeting. Ooh, ooh. Look, he, I, these I two girls made a show called Biatch's and they got a Comedy Holy Central. Fuck. It is literally can the I, worst shit ever yeah. made I, by anything. It is it's pretty can bad. I it is bad. bad. I, I, I think, I think. I don't have people. I think business guy. I, <laughs> I think the people at the top of the people like us content creators are the exact opposite. These people with the money, they have no idea what's good or bad. They just they have they have no idea. I, I guess they literally don't know what's good. Exactly. To persuasive people. Yeah. Exactly. They literally have no money, but we're the exact opposite. We have no fucking money. But I like to think, if not. Not that, not that we know it's objectively good, but we know what we like. Do you think I, I guess, what we want to see? You, you know think what I mean? we like lack, we like sort of lack confidence, like we go into these meetings, like trying to, be, no, yes. trying to act like yes. a normal yes. human yes. being. Yes. No, here's, here's not here's like a, a snake. Snake. Good story right there. Here's the thing: two yeah. things. One, if the biggest mouth always wins, you can kick down a producer's door and say, "I'm this fucking guy, and you need to listen to me." Yeah. And they. Power perceived is power achieved, yeah. right? Yeah. That's one. And the second one is that if any one of us abandon our jobs right now, we could be in the same position saying, this is good, this is bad, this is good, this is bad, this is... But yeah. we're too busy making shit. Yeah. And it's not to tune our own horns, but it's just like, I'd like to think that what we make, people would enjoy. Look, Jeff, me but, and Zach yes. went to a Hollywood meeting. Yes. 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 And we walked in, and we practically pissed all over ourselves, and they kicked us out because we were so bad at pitching. We, you were young and naive, yes. and uh, you know better now, though. We literally walked in with our dicks between our legs and shat ourselves. It was like... And the guy literally said, that was the worst pitch I've ever heard. <laughs> he well, we said that to us. We like you. <laughs> Come back tomorrow. <laughs> we, were, we, were, yeah, we were like, well, it was good coming to Hollywood. Better go home with our hands up. Hold on, didn't dude. you... Weren't you guys outside the door just sitting there like fucking like making fun of this guy's we, we, nose we for the, 20 minutes? We were the adults <laughs> with like lobby and we were like, hey, you such a faggot, Chris, you fucking douchebag. And there was this guy sitting there like, I thought it was just some like janitor or something. He stood up and he was yeah. like, okay. It's time for the meeting now. And I was like, what? Yeah, we just sat there the whole time listening to us. We're just talking bullshit. We're talking about farts and stuff. Yeah, I was like, Chris, you think this guy's like an ugly freak? Like, you're like, dumb asshole? No, and we didn't got, do that. We, we were saying something nasty. And the guy said to me, he's like, okay, it's time for the meeting. I was yeah, like, what? Was really you're the weird. guy? He's like, yeah, let's go. Let's he just looked like some hipster dude. And was like, wait. And he's I thought like, he was like the yeah, fucking janitor or something. Good <laughs> with geniuses. You know, millionaires wear jeans nowadays. I, you have to be really careful dude, with the shit. No fucking joke. We, Chris and I. Every meeting Chris and I went to was creepy. It's like these 50 year old guys in these hoodies who are like, hey guys. Yeah. Well, they're, they're trying to be radical now. It's like, hey guys. Yeah, but to be frank, me and you walked into the meeting accidentally wearing the Hellbenders outfits. Literally. This we, is, this I walked is, in a blue shirt and he walked in an orange shirt. It was a complete accident. This, this is you true. I, like fucking that, idiots. The, char the shirts that are characters for the Hellbenders are just yeah. literally what I was wearing that day. I said, yeah. Chris, what are you wearing? Dude. And we, we packed that and we accidentally wore that. <laughs> it, so it sounds like bullshit, but we accidentally wore those Dude. clothes. Did you guys have like like giant cutouts that you awkwardly no, shift through the water? What the fuck? Put on the table, and then you're like. Actually, we did have we a did little have piece of cutouts. paper. Yeah, <laughs> we did have a piece of paper, but that's because a guy printed it out for us. But yeah, and then I the thought guy you was had like, cutouts. No, -uh. the guy was like, "Oh, you guys are wearing the clothes. That's cute." And we we're like, "What?" Oh, we were like, 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 "Oh shit!" I was like, "I was, I was like, oh my god." Good one, geniuses. And then I peed off my leg, and I said, "Can we have a show now?" <laughs> Can we <have> show? <laughs> and then you show your. Give me a show. And I tooted. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I've never, I've never dealt directly with the Hollywood types. I was on an animated show once. Yeah, you no, but you were with the uh, VH1 though. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh, yes, I worked on a show called VH1 Ooh. Illustrated. Represent. I did all the character. Funny, I did most characters. of the caricatures for it. Yeah, I was like the character designer. Really? Yeah. Actually, I know that. Corey, they're really good. It's a horrible show. Don't watch it, Corey. It's a fucking horrible. Let me tell you it's something. Funny, yeah, what? Let me no. tell you something. No, no, you, yeah, no, please. So, it, no, it, it's cute. But let me tell you it's the cute. story was, yeah. Sorry, of Hollywood, people. like yeah. the, the grandeur of Hollywood. When people that have not been to Hollywood think of Hollywood, they oh think it's God. like this mainstream area with lights shining in your face, fucking <laughs> models, red carpet in every corner. Guess what? It's a shithole. It okay? is. It literally is. is a fucking stain on America's ass, okay? <laughs> what? This is Hollywood. 
Have you ever been to the projects? It's that. No. Can I tell a, a, my first experience with, with like Hollywood and New York is completely different. Yes. You know, I, I when Chris and I first went to Hollywood, we were like, I was we were super stoked. You know, it's stuff you see when you're a kid and you grow up with it. And we went there and like the, the guy, the driver was like, you guys want to see the Hollywood side? And I was like, yeah, dude, sweet. And he pulled around, I was like, you know. Oh, you mean that thing up on the hill? Yeah, the Hollywood cool. side. Yeah, the big Hollywood. And he pulled around and it was like the most underwhelming thing I've ever experienced in my life. Because it's was really like, small. There was some gay dude with AIDS over here on the side of the road. And there was like, there was like smog everywhere. And yeah. it was like, there was it's a homeless dirty, guy. It's trash. And it was like, and he was like, look, and it was like behind smog. And I was like, oh my God. Yeah. When and New York was the exact opposite. How I, do you know, know he was a gay guy with AIDS? Oh, because he <laughs> said, I have AIDS. And I said, get out of here. Get out of the window. <laughs> and I'm gay. I'm gay. I have AIDS. Let me tell you, let me tell you I something. Say, when, when we, when Yo, we. New York is fucking pristine. Yeah, I know, it's dude. Beautiful. But the thing is, everyone's like, oh, New York, to tell you guys, and pigeons and pizza, you go there, it's like, oh my that god. Is, that is because you're watching that's the funny. Warriors and That's shit. funny. Okay, that's the thing. And spray paint everywhere. Let me tell you something. It's like the most Let me tell you something. It, it is, it is yeah. hilarious, the yeah. amount of difference people think. When people think of New York, they think this, like, shitty, rank, fucking rats running around, people getting bit, <laughs> turning into mutants. That's what they fucking think that's New York is. That's what you think. <laughs> <laughs> you, Mine do you have. When you go to California, everyone's like, oh, it's like Beverly Hills. Everyone's rich. Guess what? <laughs> 90% of the people are homeless and crazy and trying to kill you. When we were going to meetings in Hollywood, uh, we went, we got <laughs> dropped off in a taxi, and uh, the taxi guy was like, yo, be careful on the street. And this was like the street that a big studio was on. It's yeah. Like, people have been stabbed here. And it's Seth Green. Oh, is it Seth Green? Yeah. Yeah, Seth yeah Green. when he was going to shout out machine, someone like smacked him and took his camera. Dude. And there's a video on YouTube of him screaming about Dude, it. Dude, it's funny. Dude, when, when we went to the studio. Seth Green? When we went to the studio. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's like, someone stole my fucking camera. <laughs> he flips up like a food table. Like, I'm sorry, man. So me, me and Stamper, when we started the show Table Flip, it was like in a rented studio, the place was. And basically what ended up happening was we went there and it's fucking hilarious because outside it looks like this like horrible like back alley place where you hear gunshots and, and <laughs> you walk inside though and it's this prestige like green screen like place and these fucking places, this like shitty rank horrible place cost thousands and thousands of dollars. You know where like the green screen, all these special effects to like rent out a studio is so much <laughs> fucking money. I mean obviously there's good places in yeah. California. Yeah. but. Hollywood but nobody, is yeah. not a but good place. But you're never gonna go the there. You're never gonna live there in the nice places. When Chris and I went to oh uh, to a studio, we walked. We had to walk past the fucking homeless lady, like talking to rocks and shit. Yeah, she, I remember. She was nice though. If you're, if I had a dollar for every time that I had to tell an, an online animator to say, "Don't move to Los Angeles," you could do your job from anywhere in the world. In fact, you, you could be like, set every from every start asshole to his brother goes to LA to become a writer and animator. Don't do that. People, no, people. No. Yeah, let me say this. It doesn't matter where you live. Your talent's not going to increase it automatically. Go to Austin. Go to Seattle. Yeah, go, go to fucking anywhere. Go, go, go anywhere. anywhere. Where you Stay where you cash. are. Stay, if you're paying a reasonable amount for rent, why fucking go to <laughs> Las Vegas and live in a ditch and pay $40 million? <laughs> you're not going, you're not going Los move, Angeles, you're California, gonna, Hollywood. Here's what's not going to happen. You're not going to move to LA and become friends with Keanu Reeves and fucking... No, you're going to fucking You're, you're going to move You're going to get LA. shot and I die know. immediately. You're, you're going to move there and you're going to be the exact same level of talent and you're just going to be paid more. All it's going to do is fuck you. You're going to move there and pay two grand for a studio for apartment. To live on yeah. clothes. What, stay where to you are. To hope that you're working at Starbucks part-time exactly. and meet Bruce Willis you're gonna passing be, your script. You're gonna stay be. where you are, do what you want to do, and if you get big enough, if you really want to do that, when the, take, when the day comes, you'll go do pitches. But don't move there expecting to get, you get your foot in the door. It's not going to happen. If you have a laptop and a wireless connection, you could make cartoons on a bridge in fucking Kansas. With it yes. doesn't matter where you're trying to you, with your laptop trackpad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but fucking, yeah, you should move somewhere who, that you don't pay tax. And the other thing, too, is speaking like, you don't need, people say, what do I need to animate? You don't need all this shit. Don't get all this equipment. You can if you're fucking rich, but yeah, that's here's thing. what you need. You need to be motivated and you need to be willing to create stuff and that's, get no reward in the future. That's another thing. I, that's something I people have probably talked about is like the process. Like when people think like, oh, I got to get the best stuff to be a good artist. I got to get a Cinti 24 HD. Yeah. And it's let me fucking tell you something. I, I've been using, I use the Bamboo Fun. I eventually use a Cintiq because it does speed up your work process and make animating a lot easier when you draw on a screen. However, I was using a Bamboo Fun. And a mouse fucking, too. Yeah, and a mouse. I used like, too. We were animating a fucking TV show on Bamboo Fun. Yeah, and it's like Stamper, <laughs> yeah. st Stamper still uses a fucking Intuos. Yeah, he's a mind tool. Yeah, so it's like, things done with a Yeah, and I, I know amazing artists, like literally people
people who can fucking paint the Mona Lisa on Psy, and they they literally use fucking bamboo funds, and it's like if, you, if, if your mindset is I need to go, I need to move to this place, and I need to get this equipment, it'll be better. No, no, no. be better. What you'll be poor. And, and also, have to suck so, so to if make you money, really, if you really want to do art animation, then you want to do art animation. If you're in it for like the fame or success, you're gonna fail. Period. Yes, period. Yeah. You your don't technology doesn't reflect equipment. you. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's you could. You're you not going. It's not gonna. Yeah. You could shoot an amazing movie on a five hundred dollar camera yeah. versus a five thousand dollar camera. It's if you know like, what you're doing and you know your lighting and you really want to get the job done, exactly. you can get it done. Study. It's practice. not easy. No. But you can get well, it done. Well, easy. You gotta fucking practice and lose and keep losing and keep losing. Also, another thing. That Again, there's no magic answer for no. any of you. If you want to do it, just do it. One big thing is if you ask for critique. Don't shoot somebody's critique. So if you say I would critique it, and people give you critique. That's don't. a whole other subject. Hey, yeah. hey, can you, we're hey, not even gonna get into that is subject. A slope. <laughs> let's let's talk about critique. Like, is ninety percent of the time, critique is tell me how good I am. Tell me how good I am. I don't want to hear anything bad. But, here's, but here's also, a, critique can also be like you should do it this way, and the person doesn't know what they're talking. Critique, about. Critique, well, that's not critique. Though. That's just being bossy. If people if people come yeah, up with cartoons talk, and when, say when you talk about critiques, you're getting into gray areas. Yeah, exactly. But no, it is gray, but it's also mm -hmm. not very gray. Just do what you like. Yeah. If, yes, but also if somebody says something about your work that could be confirmed by other people, like if somebody says your anatomy is bad, that's provable. But if somebody like my anatomy is horrible, but when, when it comes to like comedy and stuff, I kind of I kind of let that slide because I'm gonna make myself laugh. If somebody else didn't laugh at my stuff, then I'm sorry. <clears throat> but for stuff like art and shots and angles and sound, I'm gonna listen because that is objectively like provably. Improvable. You should listen to people you respect. That too. Exactly. One, la one last thing I want to talk about. Yes. And this is this is important. And this is what I, I've I've realized. Watermelons. <laughs> what? what? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What the last thing I want like what? about the topic about animation is yeah. you should do stuff that you want to do. I know we talked about it briefly, but if the new cool thing is some fucking like trend and everyone's doing it, you should consider Not how it. fucking viral that will be. Because I know, like, and not make do it it. Yeah, yeah, and not do it. Because, like, you should do things that you want to do unless you have an idea where you're like, you know, it could be funny. I think it's funny. Yeah, and exactly. then you do that. If you're doing it with specific motives to reach whatever mm. requirement is popular for that day, then you're just fucking falling in line with everyone else. If, if, well, if, all the if, people who did Harlem Shake parties, I bet they feel oh really God. good about this. Well, this, this isn't like shoot up parodies either. If you have a good no, no, if no. you if you have a good it's idea just, for a parody you like and you're you not doing it just do for it. the cash in, then yeah. could do it. If, if, you're, way. if you're doing yeah. it because hey, uh, that's a reference. Yeah. <laughs> How tempting is that when you see like a kid animate like something not that funny with like Mario and Look, everybody, every like, kid did that. a million views. Everybody does that. Uh, it's it's definitely one of those things where you just think but, like, wow, I could just make Sonic fucking shooting everyone in the face and I get so much money, but then it's like, but well, I, I don't want to do that. There's there's also like, for example, like me and Jeff, we, we've we done parodies in the past, like we did the Street Fighter collab and like we, yeah. we each did like Street Fighter pieces that we thought were funny and we did it in, in sort of a way where if you like Street Fighter, you would laugh. If you didn't like Street Fighter, you would laugh and that was the parody. That's, that's that's exact, yeah. that's and it's because we like Street Fighter, but I do know people that, I know at least two, maybe three people that constantly make Minecraft parodies, and they've never played Minecraft before. Yeah, they yeah. don't even know what the fuck it is. They just know <laughs> they that just if know they do this, references it'll get to views. Like the monsters it'll get stuff. views, and same with like Pokemon and shit like that too. Like I feel like I made the first, I feel like I made the first Minecraft parody You did, I, you, you, you <laughs> I was quit. Like, I'm like, like, I'm done. 2009 or something? Uh, yeah. It was pretty, uh, you got, you got ahead of the game. I did, uh... I thought it was pretty good, too. <laughs> I did, a uh, Like, when me and Stamper made Pokemon Spread, when we made that, our only motive was to get a point across that she farts, and that's the only fucking joke. <laughs> that's the only joke. It's just, the build-up is just too, like, as you could replace fucking the nurse with any other nurse, you could replace the kids with the kids, it's just yeah, at the time, that, that's, that's important though. Funny. That's, a, that's yeah. another key thing with like parody. If you can make a parody, this is really important, if you can make a parody cartoon and be able to replace any of the characters with any other characters and it's still funny, then you've got a... But if you're isolating people where they don't understand... They have like, to know references. He's like a, an in-depth <clears throat> Warhammer joke that only people who play Warhammer understand, then you've I, already but, killed yourself. But, the, but those characters, if 
if you do know the characters of the franchise, that should be a bonus. I oh, barely, I, think yeah. I barely know the Pokemon I don't, characters. I don't that's part of the reason why anything. I think it's funny. Because I don't. I literally only watched the show. I had like watched like, like twelve we, episodes. We loosely know the characters, and then to put them in a position that we would see them in yeah. is funny to us. Yeah. I just don't understand parodies where you. It seems like it seems like necessary that. A, it's funny to everybody, and B, it's funnier to people who know the game or the movie or whatever that understand the references better. But it should be funny to everybody. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Because I've, I've, I've never seen I've never seen Harry Potter before, but I laughed but at Chris's stupid little. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, it's just it's charming. stupid. It's there just are parodies that are obsessed with being <laughs> you know too many references, and they're not funny to anybody that doesn't understand yeah. the, the reference. And then there's things that are use the characters, but they have nothing to do. With the subject to the point where it's like, why do you? And I'm like, why? I'm like, why? Where the hell did this idea even come from? If if you if if you parody something you like and you do it, like if you're not, you know. That's why I always make two characters fucking because everybody can understand that. (laughs) Everybody knows the the characters. That's true. Yeah. Or eating food, something that's global on a base level. That's another thing. Well, well, that's that's another thing. Your stuff. Uh, re- it's relatability also in your cartoons. Like an idea where someone has to a joke around the fact that they need to pay their bill or something. Yeah. And that's it's just like you do like a really childish thing. And another thing I actually personally find funny is being immature in a professional setting. Like if a scientist the is immature parts. or the president does something really right. immature. To me, that's funny because he's supposed to be professional yet he's acting like a fucking idiot. And that's funny to me, but it's it's obvious your niche of what you find funny because a lot of people find certain things funny. Well, it's all it's all completely subjective. Yeah, it's I, subjective. I can't stay with Humor fucking, is with subjective. Stops, go, oh, you love that, That's that. the oh. thing. I always try to make cartoons where it's like, what a dude out. in fucking <laughs> Europe that doesn't understand this whole thing in our in America. So we got like a really tightly knit idea of things out here. And yeah. when you try to apply it to another, when some dude from Kenya is like, I really like your cartoons, <laughs> man. You're like, what part did you fucking like? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I have one more question about animation, guys. Yeah. Um, yeah. What is like the most interesting or weird or uh, unusual kind of like fan mail you've gotten? Like like Al Stamper was talking about the guy from Kenya or whatever. Where was it? Yeah, fucking Kenya. Yeah, like have you ever gotten something from somebody and oh, you man. wondered like what? Why the hell is this person yeah. even? You a know, fan? you know what we get a lot of like yeah. both me and you and probably everyone else in here is is messages from soldiers. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I have yeah, there's soldiers that watch like Tank Man, and I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm glad you. I don't get like that. it. This is your fucking Irish, bro. Oh, I, have a, I, yeah. I pissed off a soldier a couple days ago. Did I tell you what? Happened? I was talking positively, man, and you pissed I the soldiers off. Actually, but I've, I've I don't fucking I have a degree I have a lot of. I have a lot of soldier followers, and I said something kind of jokingly, like, oh, you know, if World War III burns out, I'd love to be in control of the propaganda. You know, those, those World War II propaganda videos are really funny to me. And he responded, he's like, you think war is funny? And I was like, no, <laughs> no, I didn't mean that. He's like, okay, Jeff, people die in war. You said that people get weird shit. Yeah. I got I got the mother load. Someone recently sent me a physical package, right? Yeah. Full of the craziest, most psycho... Like, it's crazy, right? They do tell Chris. They, they put a stick in there, just like a stick. They put stick. in change. They put in three of those little dancing pickle guys, or what are they? Raisins? You know those guys? What the the, the, fuck? Oh, the California Raisins? <laughs> yeah. They put those guys in there, like, and they look like they're covered in shit. They put in a really dirty letter that looks like it's covered in piss. <laughs> covered in the, feces? It's gross. And they put in, like, it's just weird. And the house key. It was just weird. And that hey, just, house key to, to whose house? I don't know. <laughs> this key could go into anything. But it's creepy. Next, do you want to break into that tangent where people just walk up to us and they're like, "Hey, hey, Stamper, uh, what what did the dead nigger baby say?" To you? <laughs> and you're just like, "Dude, I'm trying to eat." You know, I don't. Like, I, 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 your, I, your online persona like gets swept, it gets like flipped into this thing. No, we talked about it. we, we talked, talked about this a little bit, but like, but, uh, yeah, like people on Skype or whatever on Twitter, hey, did you fuck a dead nigger baby faggot? It's like, nope, have a good, you know, <laughs> you, you kind of like, you know, like, yeah, I was just paying my bills. I had like the little <laughs> glass side glasses yeah. on with doing my taxes. Your finger, we we finger, talked finger. about that, but people think we're frothing chimps. Yeah, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> It's true. It's like people, the the perception of how we do our stuff in the writing process, they think, oh, all we do is just fire off curse words all or, day. Or the thing is, too, they think we're maniacs. Oh, you guys, but it's you exactly guys what you said. crazy at the we, house. We're, we put all our fucking psychotic, weird 
things in our cartoons and we project through our cartoons because we, that's what we do. Mm. I would like to think I'm not a crazy person who would want to kill somebody because um, I make cartoons about butts farting and porn. I'm, I'm sitting in the dark like with a frown <laughs> on my face <laughs> animating. Deliver that the like kid with like a Pokemon that. tumor on his head. And then I sadly go back to watching like Star Trek in the dark quietly <laughs> afterwards. I'm like, no, I'm not like We're, screaming at a wall. Or <laughs> you guys are the, easily the most normal people I've ever met in my I, life. I, I think, I think if, if you see somebody who makes regular content, they're probably freaks in real life. Easily. 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 Yeah. The easily. most psychotic people. <laughs> when you say, I, I would say before, it's kind of like, it's, like, it's, like, it, it's therapy yeah. for Jokes aside, right? if like, you meet the, the kid-friendly guy that makes kid-friendly shit, he's never had an outlet to like release, and he so will it's easily all be it's, you know, the most <clears throat> awkward, uncomfortable conversation yeah. you'll ever have in your life. I wish we could talk about some of the shit who's you guys that guy, about. Who's that guy that we can't We can't even talk about half the people. Because everybody knows them. I have a topic. What's the closest you've ever come to hitting a girl? Go. Oh, wow. What's the not, not you know every, let's say it's wrong. It's wrong to hit a girl. But what's the closest you've come to wanting Correction. To hit a girl? It's wrong to hit anybody. But you mean hitting a girl? Yeah. What time? <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? What time? time? What time I was out on a date with my gal? And she said, can I eat? And I said, hold on, did I say you could speak? Were you born in the I third? got so close to giving her the black eye. Oh boy. Oh boy, I let her off that time. She's that's lucky. That tomato was I, spicy that I night. am a pacifist. I would not hit a girl. I would, if she, has, has there ever been if she one hit me back, line. I would be like, thank you. She Please, can I have another? She pushed you just a little too far. <laughs> Thank the more. She let me hit you back. One time I went to see a movie with my friends, and yeah. there was a little girl. She yeah. was like 11, and yeah. I was 16 at the time. Yeah. And she kept screaming during the movie, and then we started throwing popcorn at her. And then after the movie, she came out and she spat on me. Did you want to punch her? I wanted to fucking kill her. I wanted to put my thumbs in her eyes and pull her head apart. Oh shit! This 11 year old girl. And spin it and close it with sellotape. <laughs> yeah, you're like, how do you like that? Who jumps off the thing? Have you yeah. seen that video, Stamper? No. Oh god! The fucking diver who jumps off the thing and splits his fucking yeah, head in yeah, half. Oh, and the doctor like he pushes his head, head first and in the no. And if you link me to that, we're not friends anymore. I don't know how that, I don't know how that got to that. But. Wait, so we're talking about hitting yeah, women? Girl. Like it's, yeah. Like, like the, old, with a like the, old, the old, the old backhand? Yeah, the old Bill Corey, Spiker. if your girl was sucking on your thing, right, and she started biting on it really hard, what would she you do? She started tearing like a dog. Uh, I, well, at first I'd be in a form of ecstasy. So no, Corey, no, she's ruined it. She's bitten deep into your Corey, penis she looks tendons. up. she looks up and says, this stick is mine. Ah, she's just tearing on it. Well, I mean, I would probably hit her. And she snapped your dick like a pencil. Oh, and there's Corey, left side. Would you honestly, would you like clock her one? I yeah. almost hit a girl because she wanted to make me chicken nuggets once, and that that's not a euphemism or a metaphor. <laughs> what? She wanted to be, what do you mean? Go she on. just walked up to you in the street no, and said, hey, I was in college, and my friends, they like this girl, and they invite her over, and then, not like in any sexual way, just like because she's like a friend of her. Hang out. But she brought her crazy roommate, mm. who's crazy. And she brought us a plant as a gift, and we didn't want it, but that's a whole other story. What kind of plant? Just Dude, it was a big house plant, and she's like, listen, Jeff, I'm going to make you ch chicken nuggets. I said, I'm, I said, I'm hungry. And I'm like, I'm going to go make them. And she's like, no, I'm going to make them. And then we got into this huge argument and said, no, you're not making me chicken nuggets. I'm making my own fucking chicken nuggets. And then she's like, no. I'm making you the chicken nuggets. And she went into the kitchen, she got the chicken nuggets out of the freezer, and I ripped them out of her hand. I'm like, this is not, no, I am making my own chicken nuggets. And this got really heat, this got really violent. You did, I'm no, sure. No. Mm. Anyway, that's the closest Did she, uh, oh, Jeff, did she make you the chicken nuggets? Weird story. I know it is. How did it end, Jeff? Did she make you the chicken nuggets? She left. Did you fucking eat them? She left. I dumped a whole can of Coke into her potted plant Whoa. and threw it out the window. <laughs> and then my roommate went down and got the potted plant and brought it back up to our, we were on a second floor. He went and he turned the pot, he, he turned the broken pot towards the wall so she didn't see it and brought it back. And then it died a week later, you, so there. You asked me. You traumatized it. Corey, you asked me. It's story. Traumatized that was, you know, that was a weird no, you, story. You asked me if my you girlfriend yes. was sucking my dick and then she bit it. She bit it in half. I ha that's actually, oh. I actually had a huge phobia for mm. a long time of that concept. Because it's in their mouth, they could easily just fucking chomp down. Yeah, and they will do it. They'll do it. When you're watching blow dry videos, you always Stay do it. Never do it. So do it. You never, like, you never know. Like, what I was- You do know, I mean- I was afraid of getting a blowjob for that reason. You thought, because they, they're gonna Corey, bite it up or no- Your yeah. balls are attached to you by mere thread. They could easily bite them off. That's what I'm saying. I was terrified. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs>
Eventually, I grew Anyways. up. Anyways, <laughs> hold on. How old? How old were you when you were? Had, this was a fear. It's like yesterday. fourteen or fifteen. What? Really? <laughs> the day before yesterday. It's what it seems. It's like I don't, I, it's, a lot, not, it's not an irrational fear anymore. But back then, I was like. I don't want any stinky girls stick, stink her mouth at me and body my penis off. Completely off. Completely off. What I don't get is what, what, what after that? Like, if she couldn't get away with your penis, you, she'd go to jail. What she, happens after she, that? She she'd give it back and apologize. Yeah. Oh, sorry, she tapes it back on with. The scotch tape. <laughs> All better. Poor Chris. What? What? Okay. Stamper, tell the story of the time you and I picked up a homeless guy, mostly you, because I, I didn't want to do it. I was heard Zach, Zach was really scared, apparently, uh, throughout this whole ordeal. I just like to hear your side of it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? He told about? me you guys. The time, the time you and I went to get beer, <laughs> and you, we went to this beer place, and you're like, oh, it's closed. You saw some homeless scraggly dude, and he, you're like, oh, that guy. Yeah, I, you, he, you're like, rolled down the window, Zach, and I was like, why? He was like, hey, man, I'm homeless. Wait. And Stan was like, get in the back car, my big fucking hunting knife is in the Stop. back seat. Come Stop on. It. Hop in. We don't know who you are. Hop in. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Do you really like direct him towards the knives and Holy weaponry shit. in the back? That's scary. <laughs> he was a nice guy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we. You don't do that. Well, the worst part is, Stamper, Stamper, Stamper kept going, oh yeah, please don't fucking cut my throat, I'm really bummed out. And, and the guy was like, yeah, man, that's cool. He kept saying shit like that, he like, don't fucking kill me while I'm driving. Hey, I'm a good judge of character. Are you still alive, Zach? I guess he got. And then he was so fucking. This dude was just. I heard you with the kick him out of the car really slyly. Someone was like. I made that up. Just, oh. to, just to irritate the aisle. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's not in here. It's okay. Oh, you could lie. <laughs> but no, Stamper picked up this. We went to get beer and we stopped at this place that was closed. And Stamper fucking picked up this homeless dude who was hanging outside the beer place who wanted to get beer. He was on foot, man! <laughs> uh, yeah, because he's homeless! Damn. And. Dude. And then Stamper was like, get in the back, man. Where do you want to go? I mean, you know, take me anywhere. And the dude was, the dude had, he hadn't slept for two days. So he was like, go over here, man, go over here. And he led us on the highway. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh, this dude's taking us to like some shitty shack to fucking kill us with his other homeless friends. His cannibal friends. And Stamper kept saying, oh yeah, don't, don't cut my throat. Don't fucking gut me and kill me. And the guy, the guy was like really weird about it. He was like, yeah, man, I won't do that. You're probably <laughs> startling him because he never really thought that. He yeah, this dude he probably this, thought he was this thinking dude was out loud. Covering bed that and Stamper's like pushing his buttons yeah, like, yeah, yeah, don't you know, kill me. He's here's like, what I think. You're putting ideas here's, in his head, yeah, here's what I think. I think he was already thinking that, but since you kept saying that, he probably thought you had like ESPs. I so know. It's fucking. I know. <laughs> you're, say, you're saying the fact that you. You need to be more careful because you picked up another guy once and he almost died in your back seat. Like, he picked everywhere. up a dying old man at like four in the morning. No, I he's saved that guy's blood. life. Yeah. I saved that guy's life. If he died in your back seat, you'd be in a lot of trouble. He wasn't in my back seat, he was in my front seat. Same difference. Tell us what happened, Stan. Dude, I drove, I was, I don't know why I left, probably because I was pissed off at somebody, yeah. Yeah. and I drove down the street, and there's this fucking old Santa Claus guy on the side of the road, and he was going like this. Wait, waving his hands back at the Waving his hands, and I was like, what's the problem, man? You, you need help? And he's like, yeah, I need to get to the hospital. And he's like six blocks from the hospital. I was like, get in the fucking car. And th that's all that happened. I drove him to the hospital and I was like, thanks, man. You saved my life. He was dying the entire fucking way there. I swear to God, I saved to his life. I took him to the emergency room. No, but what was wrong with him? I, I thought he's fucking uh, a million years old. He's dying from a heart attack from eating bacon for 90 years. I don't oh, fucking know. And at least your guy wanted to go to the hospital. I thought the old bleeding old man I found Jim, didn't. Dude, I swear to God, uh, I saved that dude's life. I will not regret it. You no, guys no, stamper, make stamper. You need to stop doing that. <laughs> what if he peed on your seat? You assume that I go around and just pick up everybody that's You did, you picked up a fucking meth addict. For no reason. He had a nice face. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many opportunities you have to do it? Every dumb or out of my Yeah, I was about to say. No, you, what about that pretty boy who fucking murdered all the people? Yeah, everybody judges me on this shit, but. Yeah, Ted, let's give Ted Bundy, too, because he's handsome, right? They, they never Ted think Bundy about all the fucking one out of ten times that I do it. I get fucking crucified. Have you seen uh, like Stalin? But he nobody, was younger, he was nobody ever brings up like the nine times that I got this mustache. Anyways, Jeff, tell me the story of this this weird fucking dude who walks around. Did I tell you about this guy? Which, uh. The old, the, when the power went out that one week, it was pitch have. black, it was pitch black. I'm pulling up to my place, I'm pulling into the lot, it's zero light. And I'm, all of a sudden, my lights slowly illuminate this old bloody dude lying in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, what is, what is this about? So I pull up, I stop, and um, 
I just leave my lights on him and I go over to him and he's just like on all fours, like blood dripping from his face into the grass and like, hey man, are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah, oh, oh, I'm good. Dude, he's he's like fucking wrecked. His like face, <laughs> what you can't even see his eyes. There's like blood going down his face. I don't know, it looks like, it looked like he was coming back from the bar and fell on fell face first onto the pavement, but uh, it seemed like everything was closed. So I don't know where the fuck he came from, but he's like, yeah, man, I'm good. I'm just, uh, I lost my ring in the grass. I'm like, yeah, all right, whatever. You're just making up something. I too. saw that guy too. I saw, but he tried to wait me down. I just bailed. I was like, I'm not gonna pick this dude up. I couldn't leave him there, so I'm like, well, listen, where do you live? And he's like, yeah, apparently he lives like neck in the same uh, like building I live in. That happened to you, Stipper. What? So you, you drank and you went home. I and picked, you're fucking. I fucking oh, picked the yeah, dude up, dragged him. him him bloody old man bloody face back to the apartment building. Was that his name? Did, old man bloody face. Yeah. Oh, man his, bloody face. Did you see his apartment? It's fucking covered in newspapers. Yeah, stuff. his apartment. It's like a yeah. Cartoon Network show. Old <laughs> man bloody face. <laughs> his old man bloody face. He wanted me to unlock his apartment for him because he couldn't see so. shit. He didn't even know the power. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, well, he's like. Yeah, could you unlock my uh, apartment for me? I'm like, yeah, but you know, just so you know, there's no power. And he's like, what do you mean there's no power? I'm like, look around. It's the like whole place is pitch black. Yo, when our block, for yeah, like an hour. When our block shuts off, it shuts off. It goes completely dark. Yeah, like yeah, you drive for whatever, and it's black, black for yeah. twenty minutes. But I went in, and his place was like something out of like Silent Hill. And I'm like, of course it, of course it looks like this. <laughs> right, but I see this. You're not gonna be a well-adjusted human being <laughs> with pictures of his walks family. In, walks inside like nice IKEA furniture everywhere. Yeah. No, it's just like this fucking it's like, horrible it's like newspaper. Dirty walls and newspaper in one dirty you said couch. There was, you said there was a big turd stuck to hit nail to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fucking episode of SpongeBob, but he forgets. Yeah, I love that episode Patrick of SpongeBob. But Patrick fucking yeah. nails a turd yeah, to the yeah, wall. Yeah, he, he nailed uh, over easy eggs to the wall. <laughs> Nailed shit. No, oh yeah, he put like, he put, like a bike in a soup fucking container and he couldn't speak normally. Jeff was telling a story. God damn it. This was an ruined it, man. I, I sat him down outside and talked to him for a while to make sure he wasn't gonna fucking die because he refused to go to the hospital. I guess, you know, I guess he didn't want to pay his hospital bill, so I'm like, well, all right. I that's weird. There's a lot of fucking uh, that crazy is, nutters. That is, that is very rational. You get, if you don't, I mean, if you're I not covered, is. like, well, you're looked, paying up like $6,000 for a fucking adhesive so you don't die or something. Like, I don't oh, oh, you're sick. Yeah, oh, you're sick. Oh, you're sick. You have a stomach cold. You go to the doctor. I, they're like, hey, by the way, you're sick. That'll be $6,000. I just didn't want to be responsible if the guy fucking died. Yeah, because he was bleeding profusely. I just yeah. wanted to make sure he was there's a lot you know, mentally there it, before I left him. No, I agree. It really is sad, though, like, the kind of shit that, because, like, they're not insured because they can't. Yeah, afford it. Yeah. So like I, I saw a video where this guy he got a wreck. He's like, no, don't take me to the hospital. It's gonna be too much. Don't call an ambulance. It's gonna be too much. It's like that's fucking sad. Yeah. When you're conscious, your leg is broken, you're bleeding to death, and you're like, don't call an ambulance. It's gonna cost you like seven hundred fucking dollars. I only have like a buck to my name. Yeah, it was really eye opening. I was felt bad for the guy. There's, There's a lot of yeah. I did, I did the same thing when I spoke the back of my head open. I went to Amazon and bought the pliers, pulled the staples out of the back. Corey, because I knew if I went back, it'd be another four hundred yeah. dollars yeah. or, or more. Six dollars that I'd spend on Amazon to get this fucking thing. I was sitting watching the thing on Netflix and pulling staples out of the back of my head because I knew how expensive it was going to be. I saw this thing. I saw this thing on um, on Tumblr. People are going to, you know, Tumblr. But I saw this thing on Tumblr. It was a post about It's like, not valid. I saw, okay, I saw this it's thing. It's valid. I saw this thing on Tumblr. It was a big post about like the kind of bills they got back, the receipts they got. These college kids, they yeah. they didn't, they can't afford fucking like life insurance because they're college kids. They're on their own. Some of them health do, insurance. Yeah, health insurance, and they're getting like charged like twenty two thousand dollars for like some fucking pills and a checkup on like a, a broken leg or something. Yeah. Like people who are they do like sports and they and they work out and they do stuff and they pull strains like they fuck up their hand. They go to the doctor. The doctor's like <clears throat> broken, and they get charged. Eight thousand dollars for a doctor to tell them something they I, probably could have figured out because they're not eight. I, I had like America. a I, I had like a cyst behind my ear a couple years ago, and I went to the emergency room, and they they did it, but it was like fucking five thousand. It was ridiculous. Yeah, it, yeah. It I bet you had cis, a cis white male behind I, you. I, I, I was. I said, pull this. I said, get the cis out of me. I want to be. I want to be gay so I can be accepted. <laughs> Stamp, remember the time I got a toothache? Yeah. And we went to yeah. the dentist. It yeah. was five hundred dollars to look at it <laughs> with a magnifying glass. And then when I went back to Ireland, it was three hundred euros to have my two wisdom teeth taken out. 
Uh, he was the best option in the neighborhood. No, man. I know, but what I'm saying is that's really fucked no, up. It's, it's bullshit how much they charge. I remember what happened to you, Stamper. <clears throat> you, you had that stomach issue <clears throat> once, and then you went back and you're like, I got a bill for $4,000 to get some, some fucking painkiller medicine that I could have got at the store for $14. Yeah, they give you aspirin and a pat on the back, and they're like, here's, here's a bill for $4,000. And you're just like, okay. <laughs> It's like, they have to treat you if you show up on the thing, and it's like, oh man, I'm recovering, thank you. Thank you for saving my life, yeah. I almost died. And then you go home, and then you fucking die and have a heart attack because you get a bill that was worth more than your existence. How can people shit on Obamacare when you get these poor fuckers like myself? When I signed up for health insurance, it was like $40 a month. It, right now, if you went to the emergency room, for me, it'd be like thousands of bucks. It's like a hundred bucks a day tops now. If you if you're a shirt under that, yeah, I think it's ridiculous. People I, literally they they literally go above and they get sick of their up. It's like are you, are you kidding me? Don't get sick. Eat your own feces. Get build up your <laughs> yeah. But that's true. I'm saying like I don't know how people can quit about this because it's like less than a phone bill a month and you get a fucking way way better deal. Jeff wants to talk. Oh, I mean, I, I was just saying how I had to go to the emergency room for a kidney stone and I had to, I was admitted overnight and. Uh, that was, you know, actually I was I'm mixing up two separate incidents, but I went back, I went back to a hospital, stayed overnight, and had to use a, uh, the special machine to sort of remove my kidney stone with sound waves, very futuristic. Oh, yeah, they, put, they put you in a tank of water and they yeah. blast sound waves into my, into my abdomen to shatter the, shatter the kidney stone. And then you piss out I the piss, blood. I piss, I piss blood in No, they knock me out. Oh. It's just really oh, weird. Fuck. You have to like lie naked in this bath of water while they're doing it. Cool, dude. It's fucking creepy. And you wake up fully dressed. That's like the best part. Where were you going with this? Oh, I'm just saying, I think the bill, the bill for this was like tens of thousands of dollars. Yeah, for like just, just Jesus one. Jesus Christ, how'd you, how'd you pay for that, man? It's fucking just had good to do old, it. Good old insurance. Oh, insurance? <laughs> yeah. That'll do it. I had to make damn sure that I had those two teeth taken out before I came over because they weren't hurting me at the time, but I knew that if I had to get them taken out over here, it would cost like fucking 10 grand or something. It's, versus 400 euros. It's fucking nuts because you, you go anywhere else. Like you go to like Europe and like the difference there is fucking astounding. Like yeah. they, they're covered, like we have, Health insurance, life insurance, insurance, health insurance, life insurance of health insurance, car insurance, breathing insurance. <laughs> well, welcome to America, the best country in the world. I wouldn't change it for anything. I wouldn't either. <laughs> Even our fucking broken ass healthcare system that puts people die in the streets. Let me ask you something, Corey. You want to move to Africa, drink out of a puddle for breakfast? That's your breakfast. No, I'd puddle. die. I would die. Puddle <laughs> breakfast. Dirt cookies. I would die. Dirt I, cookies and puddle breakfast. I, I would, I would. Mud pies. Oh. And they put an AK-47 in your hand. So you shoot white men. Yeah. How do you like that? How do you like cool. that? With your tuxedo shoes and your Olympics 1996. What the fuck are you talking about? You were just <laughs> no, referencing no. your cartoon. No, no, no that's, that's true sure. though. Thank you very much. I mean, all these Africans, they all wear like tuxedo shoes and old Olympics t-shirts. They, right? they get with National fucking Clothes Association. They get black them. trash bags of clothes. You and know they, they send them? them up. You know, you know how every time there's a Super Bowl or a World Series? Oh yeah. And they have the two teams playing. They pre-print the winning shirt for both teams. Do you know what they do with the the, sh the team that loses? They send all those fucking shirts to Africa. <laughs> that's that's. I actually know that. I yeah. That today. And you got a bunch of Fila shirts it's like, too. Remember Fila? <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's all we have time for today. Thank you for listening to SleepyCast. I've been Chris and Zach. Yes. And Jeff. Hello. And Corey. Hey. And Stamper. <laughs> God bless America. See, God uh, bless us, everybody. Oh, Wait, God actually. Bless